This is uh, going to be a pretty quick tutorial on uh, just creating something, a scene in, in Blender 3D. Uh, on your Linux desktop, if you're running GNOME, you can right-click and go to uh, Change Desktop Background in most distributions. And it'll bring up some wallpapers that your, your distro uh, has available, but you'll also see this Get More Backgrounds Online. If you click that, it will open up your web browser to a uh, GNOME art page that you can uh, scroll through and find uh, a lot of different backgrounds for your computer. Uh, this is one I like in particular. Uh, it is by a gentleman named Martin Benavides, and uh, it is a simple little, but very nice looking, very elegant uh, wallpaper for your background with the GNOME logo on the wall here. We're going to create something similar to this. We're going to do it pretty fast, so it's not going to be quite as nice, but it'll be a starting point, uh, and we're going to get pretty close. First thing we need to do, though, is find a copy of a GNOME logo. So I'll just Google search GNOME logo. I'll do an image search, and just grab a decent resolution one here. So I'll find that, and so I'll start opening up oops, GIMP. And I'll also open up a new tab in my browser here, and I'm going to find, I'm going to do a search for wood floor. And I'll do an image search, and I'll just grab this first one here. Seems like a pretty decent texture here. Uh, so we have uh, GIMP open. I'm just going to drag uh, both those images. Whoops. Ah. Normally I can drag both those images. I have had this issue before. When I'm doing screen capturing, it will not allow me to drag some things in certain applications. So I'll just open location, I'll paste the link to that image, and I'll do the same for the GNOME logo here. I'll go file, open location, I'll paste that link. Okay, so first things first, I, I like this wood flooring here, but I'm going to just adjust the brightness and contrast just a little bit on it. I'm going to make it actually a little bit darker and a little more contrast. I'll save that under, uh, let's see, I'll just go, I'll put it in my temp folder for now. And we'll just save it with wood flooring as the name there. Okay, next I'll come in here, and I've done a tutorial on this before, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all black, so I have the logo selected. I'll go to Selection to Path. Now if we come over here to Paths, you'll see that we have a path in the shape of gnome foot, and we will export that path, and uh, once again, I'll just put it in our temp folder under gnome.svg. Next thing I'm going to do is open up Blender, put that over here, uh, and now I'm just going to start creating... Uh, stuff so I'm going to go here to scripts so our scripts window and I'll go scripts import and I'll choose SVG and I'll choose GIMP2 I'll go to where I have those files saved which is my temp folder and I'll choose the GNOME SVG that we saved earlier and I'll just click OK there you can see the logo right there what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our buttons window here and uh, under our edit window here I'm going to center it so it's centered. I'm going to scale it up quite a bit and then I'm going to extrude it. Probably not that much. Let's try uh, 0 0.04. That looks like a decent amount. And then we'll bevel it a few times. That looks good right there. Now we'll give it a texture. So we'll add a new texture. Going back to our reference photo right here. It's giving it kind of an orange glossy color, so we'll do the same. We'll just choose an orangish color. We'll turn on uh, Ray Mirror here and turn that up a little bit there, so we get a glossy look there. And maybe turn this up a little bit so it's not as mirror-like. Okay, so we have that created. For right now, I am going to just leave that there. In fact, I'm actually going to scale it down just a little bit. I'm going to now add a cube. And I'm actually going to go into wireframe mode while I'm working here. I'm also going to add a plane here. I'm going to scale the plane out. And I'm also going to move my camera to the front view. So in the front view that I have here, I'm going to hit Shift-0, move the camera there. 
I'm going to grab the camera and move it up. I'm also going to now select that plane again, add a texture, or add a material, go to our textured window, add new, make it an image, and I'm going to load the uh, floor image that we had from earlier. So now if I hit F12, we can see what we've got so far, right there. Uh, so looking good so far. I'm going to scale that plane out just a little bit more. And now I'm going to take that cube. I'm going to give it a, a material. And I'm going to just give it a somewhat yellowish, just a little off-white, something like that right there. I'm now going to scale that up. I'm going to start building our room. I'm going to go back into front view here by hitting one on my number pad. Grab that on the z-axis. Scale it up a little bit more. And now I will grab it. I'll move it to here. I'll shift D to clone that. Move this to here. I'll shift D again. Make a wall back here. I'm going to scale down the z-axis a little bit. So now I'm going to shift D that one and I will scale it on the y-axis, like so. And I'll just grab this one and I'll shift D, scale it down a little. I'll grab it and move it to right about here and grab it on the z-axis. So far we've got our basic room. Let's hit F12 to see what that looks like. Uh, I got a black screen. The reason for that is our lighting is actually stuck in the wall here. I'm going to grab that. I'll move it over here for now. Hit F12 to render out. This is what we've got so far. Still have our GNOME logo on the floor right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to choose the uh, GNOME logo. I'm going to hit R for rotate, X for X axis, and then I'm just going to type 90. And so it will rotate 90 degrees and hit enter to confirm. I'll grab that, move it up on the wall here, move it back a little bit into the wall. And we'll hit F12 again to render out. And you can see we're coming coming along here. So that's what we've created so far. We'll go back to our reference, the original image here. This is the original. Now obviously so far he's done a lot more with lighting to make it a lot nicer and he's adjusted his colors more. Um, but we're getting there. We're going to work on it just a, another minute or so here. Let me grab this and move it down a little bit. Now I'm going to uh, Shift D to clone that, and I'm going to scale it way down, like so. Then I'm going to scale it on the X axis, on the Z axis, and a little bit larger on the Y axis. I'll then grab it on the Z axis, move it on down. I'm going to clone this again, Shift D. Right there, I will scale it on down. I will now scale it on the Z axis and then grab it on the Z axis and move it on down. I will Shift D and hit X to clone it on the X axis, move it like that. And now we have our little bench rendered here. So here's our original. This is what we've created so far in Blender. And we've got the basic scene down just here in a few minutes. Uh, but obviously, a lot with coloring and lighting is what we need to work on. And I'll spend just a moment here working on that. Another thing we can do uh, is uh, maybe make the light here a little bit brighter. So I'll turn the energy up just a little bit. I will also change this material so it's not so yellow. I want a little, a little more, just a little off-white. Let's render that out. Looking good so far. Now the light's kind of too bright and we got this large glare here. Actually, let's try changing that to a spotlight. So we'll select it and under our uh, material settings here, we'll choose spotlight. And we'll rotate that around so it's like this and we'll move it back just a little. Let's have a look and see how that looks. A little off. <laughs> uh, let me rotate it up a little bit and over a little bit, maybe up a little bit more, and over a little bit more, and we will render that out.
looking good. We're getting the basic scene down. Uh, let's let's try changing that uh, a little bit more. We will change this number up and this number up. This is making the outer edge of the spotlight larger. And we'll shrink this down just a little bit so it gives kind of a feathered look on our light. So there we go. We're getting the, the basic look here. This wall off to the left here is a little black. We can always uh, actually lower this back down to one energy and maybe add another lamp. And uh, we can give it a pretty low power, maybe 0.3. And we'll grab that over here. So now we have two light sources. Let's see how that looks. Looking halfway decent. So we got the basic scene here. Once again, we'll compare it to the original, which is definitely a lot nicer. Definitely spent more time working on it. He's definitely got a nice little, uh, like, almost like there's a um, skylight here shining down. But that's all stuff you can tweak, but that was the basic. I just wanted to show you some techniques that I've gone over in the past, but there we go. We have a basic look here. So I hope that you uh, give that a try. It's always fun to try to emulate someone else's work uh, to see you know, what skills you need to work on. And I definitely need to work on my lighting skills a little bit here. So, But we only spent a few minutes on it. Have fun. Play with that. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Visit Films by Chris. The link is in the description for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.